Hello and welcome to the beginner guide to One Piece episode 18. What are celestial dragons? Well, find out today. The World Nobles, also known as celestial dragons in the dub or in the Japanese version, are called the Ten Rubito. Celestial dragons are the descendants of 19 of the 20, ki 20 kings who established what is now known as the world government. The celestial dragons are the people who are allowed to live in the holy land of Marijos. However, because of their connection to the world government, they are constantly abusing their power and look down on the normal people that are below them, referring to them as commoners. They can sometimes be seen walking around the Bodhi Archipelago, but are also disconnected to the point that they wear Rethin bubbles over their head to prevent them from breathing the air of the common people. In case of visiting places out of the archipelago, they wear other types of helmets as the bubbles will pop out of the area. When, however, one appears, people instantly bow so not as not to accept them with the exception of the guards, servants, and slaves that are alongside of them. Yes, the Celestial Dragons are allowed to own slaves, even though slavery was made illegal by the world government. That is the kind of power the people have. While the Celestial Dragons have no physical power as of the moment that we have seen, and appear to be simple human, they had great pull in the world government, as well as a vast amount of wealth to do whatever they plague with. Though the political power they have with the government, through that, they can order thing of stuff magnitude and trivial else, and trivial like the creation of a bridge to connect every island for no other reason than simply they wanted to as well to make any commoner they want into a slave of their own right off of the street they are also completely immune to any form of justice as seen where they are are allowed to kill anyone that simply crosses their plan in other words they can do whatever they want, have the power to do it, and the government does not care, and the government is not allowed to interfere. And by the government, I mean the Navy. But for self-defense, they do appear to like to rely on firearms, such as guns, pistols, etc. However, they more, more often than not rely on other people, especially people from the Navy, to help them. The Celestial Dragons had the power to do something on a whim that no one else in the world could ever do easily. The greatest weapon of a Celestial Dragon is without a doubt the fact that when they get attacked in any way, they can summon an Admiral of the Navy to obliterate their attackers. This is seen when Luffy attacked the Celestial Dragon by punching him in the face into Bodhi Archipelago to prevent him from making Kami his slave. By doing this, Luffy attacked the Celestial Dragon and gave them the right to summon an Admiral, even though they didn't really need permission. They could have done it anyway. By attacking them, he provoked them. They summoned an Admiral Benavi, and Kidaru came and nearly killed all the pirates on the island due to the request of the Celestial Dragon. This was done out of nowhere. Navy HQ just got a message saying Fleet Admiral Sengoku just had to call up the Admirals and was like, Hey, Kizaru, can you go take care of the guys? This is normal. If you attack a Celestial Dragon, they will call an Admiral and you will be destroyed. In terms of political power, they are undoubtedly some of the most powerful figures in the One Piece world. However, whether or not they are above or below the Gorath Day, the heads, the heads of the world government and the ones that have power with the navy and the cyberpole unit is unclear. It's not really clear how this power ranking works, but it is clear that they are up there to the point where they are able to have some influence into the Gorosei decision. Yeah, that's, that's the big deal because they're those of the Gorosei. But yeah, the Celestial Dragons are the, simply the descendants of the founders of the world government. However, because of this, the government provides them with protection, wealth, and pretty much anything they could desire, and they are incredibly selfish and very dangerous. So, I hope you learned something today about the Celestial Dragon. If you did learn something, 
please leave a like, and if you have anything you would like to share, tell me in the comment section. So remember guys, above all else, to have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day.